So now we want to develop the finite element model from the weak form. And it's no different here. We have that u of x and y we're going to approximate with u of h, x, y. And that's going to be the sum of j from 1 to n, nj, uj. So we're going to substitute that into the weak form we just developed. Summation applied, of course. Or, using that vector notation, write it much more compactly. And we pulled the constant uj out here. And so I think you can see that in matrix form, you know, this is going to be our stiffness matrix. And what's left will be the right-hand side. So we have Kij uj equal to fi. QI. Or in matrix form K, which is a second order tensor, U equals to F, which equals to F plus Q. where K, I'm going to use the compact notation here, is B transpose C B dx dy F is equal to N F dx dy. And Q is equal to N Q DS. And I introduced a new term there, B is equal to D N T. So remember, D is the differential operator. So that's equal to N1 with respect to X. So they're using the comma notation for differentiation, right? N2 with respect to x, N, N, M, 1 with respect to y, N2 with respect to y, and N with respect to y. And we have N1, N2, 